All right, time for some Hitman. We have the latest elusive target, which is shown right here, the Blackmailer. But let me just check out this uh, roadmap first. Uh, we got a couple things here, okay. And we also got another target on the 27th, so I should be able to do that one if I'm not too busy. <laughs> but yeah, the thing that uh, I'm probably more excited about is the new map, which is on September 24th, which is coming out soon uh, in a couple of weeks. I'm not too sure, but yeah, so yeah, here we go. Elusive target. <clears throat> Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Walter Williams, an up-and-coming fashion model with a history of blackmail. He is currently in Paris, participating in the Sanguine Fashion Show. The target is carrying a memory stick, containing information he used to blackmail a former lover. The client asks that you locate and retrieve this memory stick. As a model, the target will be on the catwalk, but he will almost certainly also spend some time amongst the event's guests. This year's Sanguine collection features heavy facial makeup, so mark your target carefully. The clock is ticking. Good luck, 47. All right, so there we go. That's the blackmailer. He carries a USB stick. Uh, funny story about this one. I remember failing this uh, when I did it. Because I decided to crash the, whatchamacallit, the chandelier in the Paris level. This is where this is set onto the catwalk when he was walking down it. So when I did that, <clears throat> I killed the target, obviously. But I couldn't retrieve the uh, USB, so th I failed the mission. It was terrible, and I'm not going to do that again. So now we've got all these... Uh, options here uh, let's see which one do I want to pick <clears throat> I could do the AV which gets me the uh, crew disguise I think I might do that and if I need to I'll just bring a this uh, oh uh, I'll not bring but I'll take a disguise <clears throat> get the mark II silver baller uh, what should I use? Uh, <clears throat> concealable baton. And maybe a lockpick, just in case. Oh, well, I have all these other options. Electrocution phone. Huh. You know what? I'll try that. Let's, tr let's, let's do something different. Let's try electrocuting the target. <clears throat> It's going to be pretty, pretty fun. Hopefully I don't fail it this time. <laughs> but uh, let's see. Agency pickup. The basement stairwell. I can put something there. Well, you know, if it all goes down pretty badly. Well, yeah, by that time, I'm probably going to just fail it. So I don't, I don't know. So in case the, the whole electrocution phone thing he doesn't work out I'm gonna bring in a lethal syringe and uh, yeah I guess I'll just I'll just stick with the uh, concealable baton he's on the, uh, the the first floor so I don't have to worry about that uh, am I ready like I said last time I kind of got traumatized because I did it perfectly I snuck to the top the attic I placed a bomb and I dropped the chandelier and I couldn't get the USB. It just wouldn't let me take it. Because he was crushed under all that debris, you know, so. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well. <clears throat> I guess I'm going. Uh, if I need to change anything before I do the assassination, then I still have a chance. But once the target is assassinated, I just, I better have a plan to get out of there. Safely. <laughs> oh. Just brings back bad memories. I was, it was perfect because I managed to get to the top without alerting anybody. And I wanted Silent Assassin, you know. So I managed to get to the attic and plant a bomb with nobody noticing. And, uh, yeah, like I said, it didn't work out, Welcome so. To Paris, 47. I have confirmed ah, that come on. Is scheduled for several cycles on Stop the with the uh, lag. Dressing room <clears throat> was a likely area to acquire him initially. All right. 
Okay, alrighty then. Um, let's do the mission. Oops, that is not where I'm supposed to go. Well, I can I can do this. I can go downstairs this way. That's fine. Oh, what's with the uh, stuttering? Oh no! Wait a minute. And you're with the stage, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna gonna pass you here. Don't worry about me. Now go in and get my uh, poison. Uh, just make sure that nobody sees me. Get this, and I'll just get this too. Oh, I should have, uh, I should have, uh, put uh, an explosive with me, but that's okay. <clears throat> I should have brought an explosive with me. Okay, yeah, sure. I'm here. <laughs> so, I need to find out where this guy is. I don't know where he is exactly. Okay. Where are you? You've got some weird face paint. Be here somewhere. And there's an enforcer over there, so he'll probably uh, not see me. Oh, there he is. I found him. <laughs> All right. Good stuff. Let him walk the catwalk. <clears throat> I think that's him. I just want to. I just want to confirm. Hold on. Let me confirm. Let me do this. Okay, yep. I think that was him, right? I want to... No, I don't want to... I want to zoom in. But I've got the briefcase, so... <laughs> it's going to be terrible. So I'm just going to follow him around a bit. he's done with the catwalk. <clears throat> no, he's not done yet. Where are you? Come on. Yep, oh, there he is. He's going to come over here, right? I think he is. <laughs> not so sure. Let me just wait for him. I'm just, you know, checking the speakers here with my <laughs> with my head in front of the, uh... Yeah, don't mind me. I'm just standing here, observing my target. I think that's him. Let me just check. Yeah, that's him. All right, now I gotta follow him. Just gotta make sure that uh, I can find a nice spot. You know, formulate a strategy. He's gonna walk around. Okay. Stage no. Oh. What was that all about? This is the bodyguard, right? For um, what's his name? Oh God, no. All right, where are you gonna go? Come on. Don't just stand there in the spotlight. Let's go. Move somewhere nice and secluded so I can take you out. This way, all right. I'm gonna just follow you. All right, he's gonna go walk the catwalk again. Let me just see if I can do this. Hopefully, nobody will. Uh... Oh no, no. Maybe over here? No. Uh, where am I gonna go? Where am I gonna go? <clears throat> I'm just gonna go around here. Maybe I can drop it. And then, uh. Yeah, I can. I can do. The, no, well. No, that's a bad idea. There he is. Uh. Uh. How do you drop again? I forgot how you drop. Is it F? V? No. Z. Okay, there we go. Uh, oh, come on. No, don't worry about that. That's nothing. 
That's not for you. All right, it's Z. Z is the drop. So when he when he comes out of the catwalk, I'm just gonna drop it and then move. All right. Oh, come on, no. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, there we go. Get it, get it, come hey, on. Can someone check that out quickly? Get it, yes, 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 yes. That's what I want. Grab it, grab it. Yes. Grab the phone. Oh, come on. There we go, there we go. Target down. Yes. This is a fast one. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. That worked a lot better than I thought it would have. <laughs> In fact, that is actually a pretty good strategy if you want to get Silent Assassin. Hopefully I get it, but I don't know. It's an accident kill for sure. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's just check. Yeah, that, that electrocution phone is really, really useful. <laughs> it's better than the phone that, like, uh, explodes, because that has collateral damage. Especially if there are people nearby. And I think I tried that uh, execution kill with the phone, the exploding phone, and didn't get Silent Assassin. Man, if I had this uh, item... Like before, <laughs> then. Okay. All right, silent assassin. Yeah. All right. So that's a pretty good strategy. Just drop the phone, and then hopefully the guy will pick it up. Ooh, nice. Six minutes too. I didn't get top of the leaderboard, but that's okay. I get. Let me see this. Uh, yeah, no. That was pretty good. Wow. That that actually worked wonders. That is a very overpowered item. <laughs> Just don't get caught by cameras. That's the only thing. Then you'd have to erase the camera footage and, you know, nobody got time for that. So, all right. I got the casual undercover, which is elusive targets uh, challenge. Okay. Sweet. There we go. That was a pretty fast elusive target. I should bring that phone more often. That was pretty good. All right, so uh, yeah, that. Uh, oh, hey, we got some uh, we got some stuff here that I'll have to play. Oh no, that's not it. But yeah, so that was the uh, elusive target for this uh, part of the month. There's one coming later on, but uh, yeah, like I said, the the first time I played this, I I I tried to. I don't know why why I was thinking this, but I tried to blow up the uh, chandelier right, and it crashed down. And I couldn't get the USB, which was dumb. And then I got gunned down, trying to uh, <laughs> trying to get to the body, and it was really stupid. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't. Maybe maybe it was a bug. Cause uh, I, it makes sense, you know. I mean, he's trapped under all that uh, all that chandelier debris uh, thing, whatever it's called, the overhanging whatever. And I couldn't get to the body, but uh, I don't know. It was it was dumb the first time, but now. I found a good strategy. <laughs> so yeah, that's the latest uh, Hitman elusive target, a legacy one. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.